For all you jailbreak fans, this is a great day. It's finally here, guys. The 6.1 jailbreak is here, untethered, and this is an easy jailbreak. It's compatible with all iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, and iPad mini models running 6.0 through 6.1, and it's very, very easy. So let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you how to jailbreak it. First thing you'll want to do is go to the Evasion website, real easy to get to, and you'll be greeted with the splash screen right here showing all the supported devices that are out there. Pretty much everything that's out there is supported from 6.0 to 6.1, so that is great. All you're going to need is a computer, Windows or Mac, an iPhone, or a iPod of your choice, or the iPad, which is great. And I have an iPad mini right here, which I'll show you how to jailbreak that as well and show you two different things on an iPhone 5 and an iPad mini. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing you'll want to do is definitely back up your device. Go ahead and plug your phone in or device in and go ahead and sync it to iTunes and get everything backed up because sometimes things happen when you jailbreak. It might freeze on you. You just never know. I personally never had it happen to me before but you definitely want to back this up so you can restore it to exactly how you had it before and have all your contacts, all your apps and all that stuff. So please do that first. There's always going to be that one commenter that says, oh, my phone bricked. I can't do anything with it. It's going to happen, but back your phone up. So you see that Linux, Windows, and Mac are supported. Just hit the download click. You can see I'm doing this on a MacBook Pro Retina display, and it's really easy. You just open it right up, and you'll see what I mean. Now, the people with Mac OS 10.8, if you double click on this icon, it'll tell you you can't open it because it's not a registered developer, blah, 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 whatever. But it's really easy to get around and all you have to do is a little workaround and it works just fine. So let me show you how to do it. All you have to do is go to this icon and double click, two finger click or right click on this and bring it up and hit open. And then it'll say, are you sure you want to open it? Of course you want to open it. So just hit open and now you'll be rocking. You don't have to worry about that. So that might be one thing that people might come across. So just go ahead and double click it and you'll be just fine with two finger. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and close iTunes for the developer says so on their website. So go ahead and follow their instructions. And all you have to do is that easy. Just go ahead and click jailbreak and you are on your way. This is just like the older jailbreak with green poison. It's pretty easy. It's kind of self-explanatory. It just kind of does it itself. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up so we're not here forever. And you will just see that it'll just kind of start injecting the code. It kind of has a two-part thing that it does. And you'll see part two, stage two, it just keeps going and it'll tell you not to touch it Then don't touch it. Follow all the things that it says to do on there and there will be only one part where you have to and it'll tell you here that you have to go to the home screen and hit the jailbreak icon one time. Hit it one time. You'll see it flash and that's it. So don't hit it again and you're right on your way. It says it's finishing and boom, it is finished very quickly. That whole process takes about four to five minutes and you will see Cydia right there. This is on the iPhone 5 and you're right on your way. Easy, easy, easy. So you shouldn't have any problems with this jailbreak whatsoever. Big props to the developers on this. Very, very easy to do. And there you go. Cydia is right there. Absolutely no problem so far with this jailbreak that I've seen. I've jailbroken three devices so far. Nothing there. And just to prove right there, this is 6.1. So what if you're running iOS 6.0, 6.01, and you didn't update to the latest one? And here is 6.01 on my iPad mini, and some people might not upgrade, but I probably suggest you go ahead and upgrade to 6.1 for your jailbreak. But even if you didn't want 6.1 features, then you can go ahead and jailbreak on 6.01 as well. And I'm just going to show you right here on the iPad mini that what happens to the screen while you jailbreak it is going to flash on and off sometimes reboot here and there but i'm going to go ahead and speed up this process so we're, this video is not 30 minutes long but there it is it'll tell you to hit that sign again just like it did before it'll flash and then it'll just go ahead and kick in so 6.01 also jailbreaks fine you'll see a couple of splash screens here with the logo on there it's just cleaning up and now it's done then it will go ahead and boot again and you'll have absolutely no problems here. Just go ahead and slide to unlock again. And you will find Cydia over here. Just hit Cydia. And you'll have to prepare the file system. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. And it will just prepare the file system. It'll reboot. And you will be on your way. So what do you guys think about this jailbreak? I think it's awesome. Very, very quick to do. 
Big shout outs to the developers on that. If you have any questions or any problems, please leave a comment in the comments below. And please subscribe to my channel for there's a lot more videos to enjoy. And thank you for watching this video.